Finally tonight, the qualifications to be a head coach in the NFL. Have a whistle, a headset, and work for Bill Belichick. His assistants all got jobs, and they all had losing records. You name it, Eric Mangini, Romeo Crennel, Matt Patricia, Jim Schwartz, Brian Flores, Joe Judge, and now the latest to get fired, the immortal Josh McDaniels. Combined their records were 161 and 271. That's a .373 winning percentage. The McDaniels saga is fascinating. If you count the Colts job, which he had for about nine hours, he actually got three chances to be a head coach in the NFL. After last night's dismissal by the Raiders, his career record is 13 games under 500. What irks me is there's a guy who lives in our town, Mike Martz, who never got a second chance to be a head coach in the NFL, never. He's 21 games over 500. He built the greatest offense ever. You may have heard about it. And don't tell me he was given the keys to a Cadillac. He built the Cadillac. Oh, we hear he didn't play well with others. Yeah, that Vince Lombardi was a real Leo Biscaglia. And Parcells, Shula, Landry, and Noel, they were all as sweet as pie. Give me a break. McDaniel shouldn't have gotten a third chance, and Mike Martz definitely deserved a second one. And that's, frankly speaking, for tonight.